All right, guys, I want to talk to you about growth hormone and what produces growth hormone. So, pituitary gland. This is the anterior side. Lots of hormone function going on on this side, or production going on on this side. This is the posterior side. Now, growth hormone is excreted from the anterior side. Growth hormone, growth hormone GH. You guys have heard people just say GH. Go, go lay down. That dog, she's always in here when I'm on the phone. <clears throat> anyway, so growth hormone is produced in the anterior side. Typically when growth hormone is up, you'll have uh, your testosterone goes up. They kind of run hand in hand with each other. One of the things that can stop growth hormone from going up is if you have like high adipose tissue otherwise known as fat and it produces the hormone leptin now I'm sure you guys have heard of this term called keto libido women and men it's called the same thing for both sex drives up you feel amazing you feel like you can do a lot the reason that's so effective on the keto diet is because we're doing we're, we're practicing this way of life that's called a fasting mimicking diet when you fast 24 hours into a fast GH growth hormone is up 2000 percent now you may hear somebody say intermittent fasting it'll go up to 2000 percent but that's not really true you have to be in a full 24 hour fasted state now when growth hormone goes up what first of all what is growth hormone growth hormone is a builder bone tissue builder now what can stop growth hormone other than leptin if you had a tumor here if there's like a small tumor pushing against the pituitary gland growing on it it can cause some major issues it can cause all kinds of growth hormone issues thyroid issues can cause all kinds of stuff um, lactation issues um, contraction and retraction of the neuterus or contraction extraction of the neuterus uterus when you know the child uh, child's being born the pituitary gland it sends the main hormone down it tells the muscle to uh, release or contract so a woman can have a child properly but we're not gonna get into all that right now this is about growth hormone keto libido fasting so what ends up happening is when your body knows that you're in a fasted state and you're not giving it food growth hormone is gonna try to um, growth hormone is your fat burning hormone but at the same time it also tries to preserve muscle and build muscle so when you're in a fasted state and you don't have no food in your body to burn, burn the hypothalamus tells the pituitary gland to tell the pancreas to release glucagon now we know the pancreas is responsible for two things releasing glucagon and insulin insulin is to bring the sugar down glucagon is to rise make the sugar go up no reason for it to be down glucagon is getting released 
Now, your liver has receptors all over it. You're either going to have a water-soluble peptide or you're going to have a fat-soluble peptide. And what ends up happening is glucagon will travel after the pituitary gland tells the, the, the pancreas to go ahead and release glucagon because there's no glucose left in the system. So for 24 hours, growth hormone's going up. But if you notice right at that 24 hour mark, even though growth hormone's going up shortly after that, you might check your, your blood sugar at the right time during a fast the first few days and say, oh man, why, why is my sugar up all of a sudden? The reason it went up is because you burned through everything that was in your system. So now the hypothalamus is telling the pituitary gland to tell the pancreas to release glucagon because it doesn't have any energy left and it's trying to get energy Instead of burning fat, it's always going to try to use the glucose that it's got. So what ends up happening is glucagon, it jumps out into the system. And it's, it's putting all this glucose or the glucagon in the system. The hormone goes through. And attaches right to the liver so it gets it hits a receptor on the liver and it, and it tells the liver to start to start dumping the glucose that's in it well what ends up happening now is the liver dumps the glucose that it has in it back into the system so you might have all this glucose sitting in here for a little bit blood sugar goes up and all of a sudden your growth hormone and your testosterone starts going down well this is going to get used up and once this glucose gets used up, all of a sudden your testosterone and your growth hormone is going to go back up. And you're like, all right, all right, yeah, you know, I, the, the, my blood sugar's back down, my body's doing what it has to be. Well, it could happen one more time. Remember, your liver's not the only thing that stores glucose, your muscles as well. And when your muscles deplete that, you might have a short spike in glucose just a little bit, and growth hormone and testosterone comes down a little bit. But also, something that can increase this while you're fasting is, as leptin is going down, your GH and your test are both going to go up. So that's why when you're fasting, you're, you're so keen on muscle preservation because now growth hormone, your building hormone, plus your fat burning hormone is there, testosterone is there. Now you got no glucose in the system, you're burning fat, something has to happen here. Your liver has to replace some glucose. Your body's never going to be without glucose. You're always going to have something, that's why you do have a blood sugar. Now when you're fasting, your blood glucose is down, but your ketone levels, so your, your glucose during a fast is down, but your ketones are up. That's normal. Even some diabetics will freak out, but if they test their ketone levels, they'll be way up and that, and they can pull through it if they just monitor or keep a little bit of a protein source around so their glucose doesn't drop too low. But if they keep monitoring that, they can do that. So what ends up happening is your liver is going to use ketones. And it's actually gonna pull from an amino acid source. And guess what, if you're not putting your food in your body, it's gotta pull a little bit of muscle. It's gotta pull a little bit of amino acid from somewhere. And it's just a small, minute amount. So it'll actually pull amino acids and it'll take that amino acid complex and it'll actually build it using ketones as fuel or fat as fuel. It will build it into glucose. So your body will always have glucose at some point as long as fat is present. So it has a way of using fat as fuel and using muscle to to, to build glucose. So you always have glucose in your system. Naturally, your body's always going to have it. That's why carbohydrates and sugars are not essential because the, the minimum amount that your body needs is always going to produce. It's always going to be available.